format. So, mm-hmm. um, so I want to bring the, you know, my own personal question. Yes. Um, I like to know, because uh, I know a lot of people, including myself. Let me grab yes. more, more space here. Yeah, thank you. What is the third eye? And I can not just the. Can you explain where's the third eye? Yes, it's a mystery third eye located between eyebrows, and they show Lord Shiva has third eye for destruction. It's symbolizing. For destruction. <coughs> yes. Destruction. Shiva is the Shiva, god of death, right? Yes. Yeah. God includes creative forces, sustenance forces, and destructive forces or transformative sources. So actually, everything happens with three forces. Nothing in the world remains stagnant. Something is created, stays, and dies. You know, insects live for a few seconds. Yeah. And you must stay longer time. Entire universe is created and dies in millions of years. So that is the law of nature. Third eye also represents intuition. So with two eyes we see the world. Mm-hmm. That is everything in the world we see is illusive because it's not permanent. You know, it's constantly changing. Though it looks permanent, with time and space, time goes by, it changes. Third eye is intuition. Intuition means you see or see beyond boundaries of time and space. That is eye of intuition. Physiologically, this say it is in the middle of the head, is the location of pineal gland. Pineal gland. That is what the third eye is. So mm-hmm. really, many times it is mystified. <clears throat> Somebody has vision. The third eye. Another thing happens when you go in deep concentration. Your eyes always go in. So that shows. Like attention. Is it looking? So an eye is without going effortless, in to it is in pulled in. Yeah. So, like, instead of focusing in the world, it goes inward. That means you rise above the world and you go inward. Inward means you get connected with higher consciousness, right. which is being. And there are many stories made about third eye, all this. They are not scientific. Well, yeah, that, that sounds, you know, in my world, it, it's always about martial art and yes. Kung Fu. Yes. So the, 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 there's a lot of talk, of, there's words like, uh, one of my students just mentioned the word Qi. Another word uh, is Zen. Yes. Another another word is, now you have a, th- a third eye. They're, they're not all the same thing. There are differences. Right. There's quite a, quite a difference in it. Yes. Um, when, so you, you... You actually uh, say there there's an actual location. The third eye has a yeah, placement. Yes, a physiological center is pineal gland. Yeah. And so many researches show pineal gland has all the potential. Mm. And then they always say that our brain is never used the fullest yes. in the potential, correct? Uh, yes. Well, again, that's still in a the average person, the regular yes. person, but every every day you live it, yes. you know, just like every day I, I wake up, I have kung fu, I go to sleep, I have yes. kung fu, and yes. in, in, in my dreams, I, yes. I normally do fight zombies, yes. so that's why I, I talk about, yes. <laughs> that's why I have zombies at my expo now, but, <laughs> um, but when you dream, mm-hmm. uh, Yogi, what do you, what do you dream of? Anything. See, I'm not expert into dream or anything. The regular person, they want to know what's in your brain when you're sleeping. <clears throat> they want to know Ev- everything. All my unfulfilled desire, fantasy, everything comes in. Mm. <clears throat> so nothing special. Uh, do Do you have a uh, special control over your own dream? No, I never tried. <laughs> but they say you can. Right. I never tried. I'm a scientific, I'm a skeptic, I yeah. don't take anything, you know, as told. So I investigate myself and it makes sense that I... Really it's very refreshing, you know, because yes. uh, most of the people feel that, uh, I guess, uh, the, uh, the holistics yes. um, are more mystical. Yes. And you're not. 
you're, you're, you're more of a direct science. Yes. You know, to, trying to put it down as, as a reality. As yes. A here and now. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Um, but I, I think we had uh, a question for one of my students out there. Why don't you just say it out loud, what you had in your mind there. Uh, this my student in the background, yes. uh, Andre. Yeah, I had, um, had a thought of how you, you, you rapidly healed yourself, but you, you, you covered it basically in your positiveness. Yes. So that was, that was my question, was how, yes. how quickly, how, how did you quickly heal? Yes. But it was with your, your positive outlook on life. Yes. That's what I gathered from your statements yes. earlier. Yeah, but I did not try anything, but generally healing is done. Power comes from consciousness, from consciousness to the mind, mind to the energy, and energy to body. Mm -hmm. So when you are in tune, then you can direct prana or healing energy. So as you visualize, you can direct the energy. So really, healing takes place by visualization, directing the prana, mm -hmm. believing, and it becomes real. Mm. Yes, sir. This is how healing does. Some people have natural healing capacity so they can heal others by touching, yeah. by looking, by talking, or even at a distance healing can be done because prana has no barrier. And this is why I emphasize <coughs> to all the healers, mm. those who do Reiki and other healing, mm. they learn only placing the hands at different places. That is only physiological aspect. Some people have natural tendency, but by paying money and getting certificate and knowing where to place the hands, mm. <clears throat> you cannot do proper healing because you have to be the channel of energy. Channel. And you have to also gather mm. energy. So if you don't have enough energy and you give out energy, you get sick. So people have idea is commercial thing. You learn healing technique. Actually, you have to gain the energy with moral living, proper diet, meditation, so that it becomes part of you. Positive, is, as he's saying, is everybody can identify with the day that you feel positive, more things happen for you. I'm not saying that you're going to get a better job, but you feel better, correct? Yes, yes. Right. So, is... What would you say, what's five ways uh, a regular person can feel positive? Especially when they may mm -hmm. not feel, well, let's not say real hard, where they're yes. already feeling po negative. Yes. But you just woke up and mm -hmm. uh, you didn't have your cup of coffee yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some f fundamental things I use for affirmation is I accept myself, I love myself. This first thing, you know, acceptance and love. So you create love for yourself, then positivity starts. Then being grateful to God for all the gifts of life. You know, I have arms, legs, I have food, shelter, clothing. Mm. Saturate yourself with grateful. And then let go of anger and any resentment for anyone from the past that removes all those things. And then feel entire universe is extension of my being. With all this feeling, mm. you cannot help but be positive. Mm. Consider life as experience. God put us in life and giving all pleasant and unpleasant experiences to learn a lesson. Mm. So you become positive. <coughs> Negativity comes when you become self-centered. I, me, mine, hanging on, holding on. Mm. So if you feel universal. Mm. Life is to serve others instead of what I can get, what I can give. Mm -hmm. Well, let, let's put that into the next section. One yeah. more, I want to do another section.